Hi. In this video, I want to talk about the benefits of shared mailboxes because I have realized that so many clients and organizations don't realize the cost saving potential. So you have an email address. I have kim.brian at 365 solutions group that people send emails to when I get them. I also have support at 365 solutions group that people can send emails to. Uh, and that is a shared mailbox that I can access and so can my colleagues can access. Uh, and then there's also another email address, kim.brian at 365solutionsgroup.com.au. That's got a different domain, uh, is a different email address and could be an alias or a shared mailbox. So there's lots of different types of emails, lots of different types of users, aliases and shared mailboxes. And in this video, I'm going to clear up the confusion and potentially save you some money uh, because in Microsoft, every individual needs to be licensed, but a lot of companies are licensing every email address. They have accounts at, support at, info at, Kim at, John at, and they are charging for all of them. When really, if there's only two users, John and Kim, they should just be charging for those. And info, support and accounts don't need a license if no one is actually logging in as them. So to save you money, you can convert those other mailboxes to free shared mailboxes and have Kim and John having shared access to those spaces. Now, a single user can have access to multiple email addresses uh, and you can have it either as multiple locations or one location with multiple email addresses. Now, I'll show you a couple of diagrams. I will share my screen. Now, see, in this diagram, you have an individual who has credentials, meaning a username and a password for accounts at, and they log in and they check the mails. And then they want to go and check Kim at. So they type in Kim at and type in the password for that and go check that one. And then they want to check support at. So they type that in and type in the password for that. They are paying for three licenses and having to log in and remember three different passwords. Converting to shared mailboxes takes away two licenses and only remembers one set of credentials. So you'd remember Kim at 365SG, you'd remember your one password, and you'd have access to all three of those mailboxes, and two of them would be free. But they are still separate mailboxes, so you can still choose to send from or receive to separate mailboxes. So in Outlook, you actually have that ability to see over on the side, you've got these individual mailboxes, all accessible on the left hand side. So you've got the ability to check all of them and I'm only logged in once. When you actually look at my account settings, I'm only logged in as my one company account, but I have access to all of these email addresses just through my one user. So I'm not logged into any of these other places. I've entered one password to get all of these other mailboxes in my Outlook. And that's through using shared mailboxes. Now I do have also have access to other users. So you can see here, I've got an access to Tristram's account. Um, and he is a user. So delegate rights can get complicated. You can get access to other particular users and things, but uh, anything is possible, um, but at the, the core down, um, what's important is you don't need to be paying for those other um, mailboxes. You can simplify that. Now, it doesn't mean shared mailbox. People often assume that means that you have to share it with people in a situation like this where you have um, multiple people accessing the same one. And of course, that's possible. Um, and it's actually a lot more secure doing it this way. In the old scenario, if both you and your colleague wanted to access support at, you had to give each other the password. If one of you forgot it, you had to reset it. You had to send it to them in an email or tell them, hey, the password is password123. Someone overhears that, someone hacks your email, they log in, your environment is suddenly breached and it's no longer secure. 
So this is a not a secure method. You should never ever share passwords. Instead, it's a much more secure method for you to each remember your own passwords and for Office 365 to manage that ability for you to both have delegate rights to that same mutually shared mailbox. And you both have access to your separate mailboxes as well. Now, that is how shared mailboxes work and how you can save money by using them. There is also the other um, uh, element of that, and that is called an alias. So an alias would be where you've got different email addresses going to the same mailbox. So if you email kim.brian or kim at, um, they all go to my one email, my one mailbox. So I've got about, I've got quite a lot of um, aliases. Um, and they are all managed um, on my one mailbox. So no matter what you, um, no matter what you actually send those to, they're all going to arrive to the same location and I can't send as an alias. So I can never send as Kim dot Bryant. Um, I can never send as Kim at, I can only receive from there. It's like having a redirect on all your mail. Um, you can send to all these different places and they get there, but you can't actually send from those other places because you're not there. You can only send from the place where you actually are. So you can see over here, I've got seven more. I've got quite a lot of different aliases that you could send to any of these email addresses and I will receive it. Um, but I can't send from them. I can only receive from them. Uh, but a shared mailbox I can send from. So when I send a new email, I can choose to send from accounts or support or even from Tristram, the other user that I have rights to. Um, so a shared mailbox is a separate location that you can send from and to. So from here, you can, you can mail can go in and out of. It's a separate location, whereas an alias is just a different address, a different label over the top of the same mailbox. So I hope that's cleared that up for you. An alias, a label over the same place, a shared mailbox is a separate location that is free and you can have an unlimited number of them um, and you don't need a password to access it. And a user is an actual person who has a username and a password and logs in to those mailboxes. So stop making all of your email addresses users. They don't need licenses. You can use shared mailboxes and save yourself some money. I hope that's helped.